Hello, welcome to my humble homestead and garden side chat. So today, yay, look at the sun. The sun is out. We can finally get outside. It's the first day in May that I can get outside and start working in the yard. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand this way so you can see over there my raised. Oh, I'm not very good at this. I'm going to hold it still there. So over there are the raised garden beds. So what the goal is today is we are going to start. So today the goal is with those raised garden beds over there. I'm going to get those all moved out of the way, pull the weeds out of them. And I'm going to take that whole area and I'm going to lay down some cardboard first. I'll show you as I do that. And then I'm going to lay down the black plastic over it. Then move the raised garden beds back and then mulch over it so it can have a nice weed free area over there. So I wanted to till, if you see where my little rain barrel is over there, I wanted to till over there so I could put my black fabric down, but it still is looking a little wet. I'm going to see all the water. Remember, I don't know if you saw my water, my whole backyard was underwater last week but i'm going to see what it's like this afternoon after the sun's been out if i can at least get a little start on that and i'm thinking about using this area over here for my flowers and herbs i was going to do it out front because i thought it would be pretty but i don't think i get enough sun so anyway so that's the project today i'll show you as we progress see you later Okay, so here's phase one. Mom and I laid down all this cardboard. So now I'm gonna throw some tarp there. So the object of doing this is to kill all of the growing stuff below, like the grass. Because over here, I'm going to put my raised beds here. So I'm going, I, right now I just got the cardboard down. There's some tarps, wondering if I might have to get another one, but right now we're just gonna um, use wire staples, put the tarps down over. I might pour some water on those. They're kind of supposed to be wet and my grass isn't as wet as I thought. We're gonna put the tarps over and then move the raised beds back over and then put some mulch around them. And that should be my little raised garden bed. Um, and then, I'm planning on tilling over here, but it's still a little bit shady. So we're having a discussion on if we should move the vegetable garden. <laughs> so that's our little discussion of the day. All right, we'll be back and show you more process. Okay, so now we got phase two done. We got the tarp on here and moved a couple back of the, a couple back. We moved back a couple of the raised garden beds. Now we are going to cover the tarps with some mulch. Um, I do need to get some more tarps over there where the boxes are and then we'll mulch and put the rest of the um, raised beds over there as well. So and these are the wood boxes that I get from um, the John Deere locally they, they fill all their big tractor parts in there and then they throw those out so I just get them my neighbor has decorated they like burned them painted them making them look cute I am honestly I don't care I just am gonna fill the bottoms up here with some you know some like sticks leaves um, some things like that and then compost and then potting soil and then I will use those so that's kind of how I do that all right so just wanted to let you know phase two and on to phase the final phase which the mulch is what we're gonna do see you in a moment okay so we are still working on this project we got some mulch down over there, reconfiguring where the garden goes. So 
I don't really need that whole area for my uh, raised beds. I still have a little corner over there if I want to, um, I, I need to get another tarp. So if I want to finish that corner off that, I can. So over here gets the most sun. Remember I was talking about we're going to figure out where to put my, um, where to put my garden fabric, which I laid out there because I wanted to um, get kind of an idea. I wanted to go out to the length of the shed. So I laid just kind of a rough measurement there. So I am going to use my new little Sun Joe tiller there that I purchased. And I'm going to till up the length of that rough measurement there. So I'm going to till up next to my composter. And then when I get that area tilled up, then I'm going to move garden fabric. <laughs> a little tired. Uh, my garden fabric and then till the rest of it. And then I am going to put some compost down over the top layer, then put the garden, then mix it in, put the garden fabric down, and then we'll move on to the next step. So here is our big garden project today. It is a beautiful day. We have Fahrenheit, a uh, nice breezy 65 degrees today. So great vitamin D, I'm enjoying it. And that, this is what's going on in my backyard. I'll show you more progress as we go. I'll let you know how this Sun Joe electric tiller works as well. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Okay, so I have to say I am super impressed with this $100 electric Sun Joe tiller. I did this in about 15 minutes. So, and it's pretty wet still. You can see it's pretty muddy. Um, I'm going to rake this up, then I'm going to put some compost over it, then I'm going to put the black, um, the black, <laughs> I gotta get my words out, I'm going to put the black fabric over it, the breathable fabric, tack it down with the staples, and then I'm going to use my blowtorch and put holes in it for where we're going to plant the plants. Um, I'm just going to put some potatoes out and maybe a few of the, like, the cabbage, the real cold hardy leafy greens that can withstand if it does get below freezing. Um, it hasn't, our last frost date is not supposed to be for another week or so, so I'm just going to put some, my, I have some potatoes that I've been rooting in a jar of water and they're out of control. So I'm going to put some of those sweet potatoes in the ground. Other than that, I'm just going to wait. I might till up the area where I'm going to do flowers and put some tulip bulbs down and I think that'll be it for today I'm just so happy I was able to get out and get a start but I will just show you the very finished product because it's still kind of a mess back here <laughs> all right but I had to tell you I am impressed with the San Joe um, tiller there it is I'm kind of cleaning it cleaning out the the bottom but yeah hundred bucks on Amazon I'm really happy I'm I, I I'm not sponsored, but it really did the number, you know? I mean, if any of you like to till, I know a lot of people are into the no tilling now, but this is my first year of pulling up any of this um, in this yard. So I did want to till it the first year. And then I'm gonna keep the tarp down and I'll probably do no tilling after that, but it's all about no weed gardening. I'm super excited, all right? And I'll show you more to come. All right, happy gardening, everybody. Okay, so I just put a little bit of compost on the top, and now I am I raked it down. My mom helped me rake it down, and now we are going to put the black fabric over. I just wanted to show you what it looked like after. It's not perfect, so you know the the black fabric will kill all the weeds underneath. But I did want to have some compost on there to give nutrients to the vegetables we're going to put there. But we are going to, um, you know, there are just a few little, we took the big clumps out, but um, it will kill. And then we'll put the, we'll put the holes there where we put the plants. So just wanted to let you know what it looks like. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I am actually... <laughs> 
trying to kneel on something. <laughs> Hi! So, here we have got the black fabric down. And I've got my little torch here, my flame torcher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some holes in it. I've got some um, plants that are very frost hardy plants. Um, I have some cabbages, some spinach, some carrots, some, well, mostly the, the hardy greens, cauliflower, broccoli, those things can withstand between 10 and 30 degrees if it were to frost overnight. Um, I can give you the breakdown later, the exact Fahrenheit degrees. But I'm going to show you how I make a pool with my um, torch here. So basically, what I do with this fabric, because we're talking about weed-free gardening here. I'm going to move. I had this little silver roll so it wouldn't blow. So what I do is I just turn it on here. It's very powerful, so I don't turn it on very much. Put a hole just like that. And then I do another one and place it out. That was a little bit bigger, so I just do a little bit. I want to do the small holes that are just like this one right here. This one right here is about the size I'm going through. It's a little windy, so I'm still getting used to this torch. And then I'm going to do them just about six inches apart and go across the green lines. And then I will just plant the holes in here, plant the plants in each hole, and then that will save me from the weeding. So I'll come back after I have a few done. See you soon. Okay, so here it is got holes in there, planted some cabbages and spinach. That's what I put in there today and a little kale. Um, I'm going to stop there. My Some of my pak choy is a little lanky. <laughs> so we're just going to see how that does. And I just sprayed it with deer and rabbit repellent, the organic stuff. So it's basically smells like deer urine so it, it's kind of stinky out here but anyway so this is how it looks with the holes in it i have put in a long day got up start at 7 a.m and it is about 5 p.m so i'm gonna go and soak and we will continue at a later date all right so that is our first gardening video I still have to clean up the yard, but that's what we did for the raised garden beds over there. And we'll see you in future videos. Happy gardening. Be blessed. Bye.